Good morning, everyone. And welcome to another vlog. I have no idea how many days uh, this will be over, but there are a lot of things coming up over the next few days. I've got jobs to be doing left, right and centre. But the most important way to start it off is with a lovely cup of Yorkshire tea. I'll let you decide who the mug is talking about. So the first job of the day is uh, not a particularly fun one. I've got to make a serious-ish phone call. I had this lovely sofa delivered a while ago from a sofa company that you'll all have heard of. They have sales on all throughout the year. I will leave it there. Long story short, it didn't fit through the door. Had to come in through the window. I was promised it would come in through the door and I want some money back. So this has been going on for a couple of months now. I've not had a chance to call them recently, but they should also be calling me back in response to my complaints. So I'm going to jump on the phone now. I'll give you an update after, but then we'll get into some more exciting stuff. Get outside for a bit. It is the middle of a heat wave, so I'm looking forward to getting some sunshine. I'll see you after the call. What have I just gone through? That was the most stupid bloody call. I ended up speaking to the same guy I spoke to a month ago, last time I complained, last time I tried to chase up my complaint. And the guy literally said, well, yeah, head office tried to call you back a few days later from a, a Doncaster phone number. I've looked at my call logs, there is nothing there at all. They are lying through their teeth, all to save themselves like a hundred pound refund. I just don't get it. So yeah. Um, we've got to wait another week for a callback. Oh, the joys of customer service and crap salespeople. Just remind me to never, ever order from human beings ever again. Right, that's done now. We're going to move on. The garden is a jungle again. You know, the last vlog, it was literally like, what, a foot long, the grass? It's back to that again. I'm going to go out there, get that sorted. I might put a little bit of a clip in. I don't want it to be the same vlog as last time. <laughs> so yeah, I will, uh, yeah, I'll go get the garden done and I will speak to you on the other side of that, hopefully a bit happier um, because that's something I can actually achieve a positive outcome from. So I'll see you on the other side. It is hot out here. It's not even that sunny look. It's like, it's just cloudy at the moment, but it's warm. Very, very warm, but the main job is done. Just need to tidy all of this up now. Oh, the lawn looks so patchy, but I'm hoping by spreading a bit of grass over it, it will fertilize nicely and come back to that lovely lush green that it was when I first started cutting it. It's also winter soon, so, uh, It'll probably not grow much more than this now. So fingers crossed it'll look nice for the whole of winter. I've just realized something. There are weeds that need doing. Weeds that need pulling. I think I'm gonna tidy up the first lot. Get myself a drink and then come back out and do the weeds. Hot work. Right, the garden is now done, and if I look out the window, it is looking, well, you can't see much of it, but it it is tidier than it was when I started. Um, I am still absolutely soaked. It was so hot out there, it's disgusting. I know I need another shower, but we've got another job to do now. No time for a shower, and I wanna get this job done before lunch. So, what I've got next week is a local Amdram Musical Theatre production. Uh, it is School of Rock at the Duchess Theatre in Long Eaton. I'm hoping this goes out before show week starts. And the uh, show is running from the 12th to the 16th of September. And yeah, basically tickets can be found um, in the link in the description if I remember to put it in. So if I haven't put it in, please comment and let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm the musical director of that show, and as part of my job, I have the joy of dealing with this music. So, I've got my score, I've got the most useful things in the world. These colourful sticky tabs, they 
make life so much easier. It means you're not writing directly onto the score, which has to be pristine and clean by the time it goes back. Um, you have to use pencil, so I have a lovely little mechanical pencil. Best tool for trade, you don't want to be reaching for a pencil sharpener every few seconds. Equally, you have to be very careful not to overly you know, push onto your score with it or like draw too heavily because then you can't rub it out and then you get fined. Loads of things to have to worry about, but these tabs make it so much easier. So I've got a few notes to transfer across from the score I've been using in rehearsals to the one I'm playing from on show week. And I've got my um, completely apt book here. Of course I'm awesome, I play piano. This is my notebook. I've got some notes from the last run we did, which was on Wednesday night. So I've got to get all those marked up and we'll be good to go. So yeah, uh, I'm going to get on with that. And hopefully after that, grab some lunch and we'll see. See where the day takes us. It is now the next day, it's Saturday. And yeah, nothing else really happened yesterday. I just enjoyed uh, relaxing for the rest of the day. But we have some important stuff to get done today because show week means hardly ever being in the house between what being in the office and traveling to the theater, uh, late nights, etc. So most important thing for show week is food. So I'm just about to start batch cooking, well I say batch cooking, about to cook a couple of dishes to um, help tide Sophie over for a few days. Um, and I've just done a whole load of pasta for my lunches for the next week. So I'm going to crack on with a bit of that, uh, maybe a quick time lapse, um, I don't know, let's see. So we've just got the majority of the cooking done, both dishes boiling away nicely. We've got a very simple curry, uh, literally curry powder, turmeric, uh, tomato puree, water, but then we've got to add in some soft cheese to that. And next to it we've got a Cajun chicken, again very simple, Cajun spice and ground paprika and then yep, some more soft cheese to go in there. Um, really simple recipes. If you ever want a proper recipe for one of these very simple dishes that you can do whatever you want with, let me know in the comments. You can add vegetables and all sorts of things, but we're keeping it simple and quick today. There we go, both dishes complete. That's the Cajun and that's the very simple curry. I know they literally just both look like different shades of brown, but I'm not a Michelin star chef, I am just a guy who currently waves his hands around in weird ways and can put together a quick dinner. Right, that job's done, apart from boxing them up, but that's a job for later. Time to get rid of this load of scruff. See you when I look like a baby again. Keep an eye out on this channel over the next few weeks. Um, the other week, myself and Sophie went away to Orlando, Florida, and we went to uh, pretty much all the Disney theme parks and all the Universal theme parks and I took lots of like b-roll footage, I didn't vlog properly whilst I was there but I think it'd be nice to you know do like a bit of a sit down vlog you know find a nice backdrop, I don't know this is a nice backdrop but there's no nowhere to sit, I'm literally on the edge of a sofa um, but something like that, talk about the time we had and share a few clips, give you some tips and tricks, I might split it into different videos just to kind of yeah, break it up a bit, make it easier to get lots of videos out rather than have to spend ages and ages on a single edit. Um, but yeah, um, keep an eye out for those. They'll be going up on the channel as and when I get a chance to make them. Right, it's get-in day. We are at the theatre for, well, get-in and technical rehearsal for School of Rock. And yeah, I'm currently in the room where the band are going to be, but my stuff is not here. I'll be sat around here, but I'm going to be out in the auditorium tonight. And we've got other keyboards, drums, guitars, all sorts in here. Screens to watch it on and a fresh aircon unit so we don't die in this heat wave, which is, is so nice in this theatre right now. 30 odd degrees outside and a nice cool 20 in here. Mwah. Perfect. 
So I'm now underneath the seating at the theatre. Everything has been redecorated in here, so the auditorium looks awesome now. It's like all proper professional looking theatre. It's all got fresh air con, everything like that. Again, I can't show you the stage, but I can give you a little peek at these sides. So it's all nice and freshly painted. Roof's all grey. I can't give you much more than that. If not, I'll show off the set, which I'm not allowed to do until publicity photos go out. Um, but yeah, back in the band room. Just going to chill out for a bit and hopefully tech rehearsal will go well. Again, I can't put any footage out um, because, yeah, we have to control our publicity and all that. But uh, yeah, I will uh, hopefully give you an update later on as to how that goes. Got to love a bit of pre-show drama. We've just spent the last like half an hour trying to get a huge bit of set erected, set up on stage. Ooh, it doesn't really fit. Um, yeah, plan B is coming into force. It's still going to look awesome. Um, I can't wait to reveal what it looks like with you all. Um, but yeah, again, I just wish I could show you, like, I can't even show you a sneak peek. I can see it right from here, what's going on, and I can't share it. But it's going to be amazing. The set looks incredible. Um, but yeah, I'm just sat here in the drum throne at the moment. Um, drummer likes to put his kick to bed every night. Uh, so I'll show some of that once it's uncovered. And this is where I'm going to be positioned tonight. I've got my keyboard all set up and the view of the stage, which I can't show you still. So, fingers crossed, I'm going to have the luxury of playing this bad boy on show week. Quite the wrong way around this at the moment, but it is a keytar. Look at that. All black keys, very sleek, little like whammy bar, pitch bend at the end there. I'm hoping I can get it on stage at the end of the show because I get to go up for a bow. So, fingers crossed, that would be amazing. Um, we'll see how it works technically though. But that, yeah, it's so much fun to play. Genuinely, so much fun. I need to get one of these. I borrowed it for now, but I say it's, it's on my shopping list. Forget weddings and holidays. I need this now. So sorry, Sophie. And we are just about done for the day. You can probably hear the sounds of a lovely guitar in the background. That's a very, very nice guitar being tuned up right, or tuned up, sound checked right now. Um, yeah, it's a bit more of a band. You can see, see the drum kit now over there. Very fancy electric kit, but looks like it's, like the pads are like proper sized drums, so that's pretty decent. Um, yeah, my keyboard's all set up and good to go. Uh, keyboard two needs some stuff, but yeah, it's uh, all looking pretty good. And that's it for the day. I'm back after, God, like a 14 hour day or something. Left the house about half eight and it's now about half past 10 in the evening. So very long day, but it's been great. Absolutely love being at the theater. Um, those are the best long days you could ever have. So yeah, if you've enjoyed the vlog, um, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll try and bring you more content as the show week goes on, but obviously I can't show everything, but I'll try and do what I can. Um, but yeah, um, thank you very much for viewing and yeah, I will see you next time.